I haven't put the GoPro chest strap in years on. What is up YouTube and welcome to another Crib Zone Excursion. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe for more. Welcome to another Crib Zone Excursion. And in this one, pretty sure I've never taken you guys in here. A different section, baby. Maybe we'll catch a glimpse of what goes on in these areas. Maybe you guys already got the feel. Last time I was here, we were chopping a tree down and some guy came up to us and he was like, I'm gonna call the cops. Ooh, you like this beach. You like this area. Come on. It's been a few years since I've actually talked to you guys. I be posting, but it's like old footage and stuff like that. This is the first time I put the GoPro chest strap and I chatted up with you guys. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. If you guys are old to the channel, welcome. This is a uh, calabaza right here. Look at it. Not you, Crypto. I'm not calling you a calabaza. Look at it. It's growing everywhere. Give it, Crypto. In this episode, guys, I want to talk about what I've learned from living with dogs. A little backstory on my dog history. My first dog was gifted to me by my godfather. I was probably like 10 years old or something. His name was Brownie. He was a Chihuahua, of course. I'm Mexican. So my first dog got to be a Chihuahua. When they say Chihuahuas are the most loyal dogs, they're pretty up there. We had that dog at our old house and then we moved into this house and the freaking Chihuahua found out where we lived somehow. Like he left our old house while we were moving out and then he found our new house. How, how does that happen? <laughs> I hope I'm not rambling on crazy. The most important thing that dogs have taught me, I would have to say that they just teach you unconditional love. You can leave a room for 10 seconds, come back and your dog's gonna be extremely happy to see you. Now that is unconditional love. You can go missing for months and then see your dog and they'll be just as happy, if not even happier to see you than when you left them. You can't say that about a lot of things. Not everything's gonna hold that unconditional love for us. The definition of loyalty. The second thing I learned from dogs is just how embedded my life is with dogs. Every time I see a dog, I just get happy. They make me happy, I make them happy. It's a win-win. Third thing dogs have taught me. Lesson number three from doggos. Dogs are such great examples of how fast life passes. Crypto here is about seven years old now. He's getting up there. Dogs do mellow out at around, I would say five years old. At five years old, they start to they start to mellow down, you know. Three years old, they're they're still pretty hype. At three years old, they're kind of establishing their attitude. But at five years old, that's when you could really tell the age on a dog. After five years old, the dog is done developing. So that's how you can expect your dog to behave for the rest of their life. Unless something traumatic happens, of course, because because trauma does affect dogs and it does affect how they grow. <laughs> A lot of you guys might know the rat. Yes, the rat is still alive. I was gonna bring him, but I kind of wanted to walk. I didn't want to be stopping all the time. The rat is a perfect example of just how age affects a dog. He has no teeth. The rat's like 12 years old, by the way. He's, he's super old. I'm pretty sure he has like three teeth left. His tongue is on the side of his mouth hanging out. He is up there with the age. I'm not sure if all that dog year thing is true. They say one dog year is equivalent to seven years in dogs. So that would make the rat like seven times 12 is 86. When I'm laying there with the rat, when I'm just in the moment with him, I can really, really tell how time and just age affects tiny little dogs. Not just even tiny little dogs, even big dogs too. So the third thing that they had taught me is just how important it is to take everything in the moment, to enjoy all your surroundings. If you have an old dog, their presence is so strong. You guys haven't really seen crypto, so I'll let you guys take a good look at them right now. Look at this beautiful weather. This is exactly why rent is so high here. We got that subtropical New Cambodia weather. Pretty sure that's an island east of Australia. Look at this. This is our local Guacadin. I'm not sure I've ever given you guys a tour or a walk around of this. Look at this beautiful flower. Look at this. This is milkweed right here. Look at that flower. I don't think you guys could see it, but look at that. 
bowl besides for these weeds, but we got a dog bowl. Look, there's a dog bowl. There's a dog bowl. Came from the dog bowl. Came from the dog bowl. <laughs> the local garden. If you guys don't know where we're from, we're from Salinas, California. which is considered the salad bowl of the world. We're surrounded by fields. The whole city is surrounded by fields and agriculture. Now, does that mean we get sprayed by pesticides? Probably. I also get woken up by helicopters spraying the damn field all the time. Other than that, the weather here is absolutely dreamy. Every plant here completely gives. Look at this chayote wall, man. We built this on 4th of July just so we can sit on top of it and look at the fireworks now it didn't go as planned because it wasn't strong enough but it was still a nice build nonetheless so this garden seventh year anniversary this year this is the first time i bring you guys man that's kind of not good right this is fennel right here it's good for like like if you don't have gum mm, this is so minty we got a table with drawings and stuff Mew. Oh, I have a pen. Look at this pen. It says a daddy KZE. Oh, yeah. True. We achieved the silver play button long ass time ago at 100,000 subs. Now, after you reach 100,000 subs, it literally takes half a year for you to receive the plaque the silver button plaque that was the whole goal of the channel tell me to think of it guys we need a new goal you guys remember that boner i used to fill up full of you guys full of the subs man we need a bigger one of those all right hold on a second hold on a second be patient you know what i mean it's not it's not what it looks like all right it's a bone one milli 500k I reckon we're like at 250. Boom, 250,000 subs. We're trying to get 1 million subs. Oh man, it feels good to be out here. It feels good to put the damn GoPro chest strap on. The next plaque is like at a million, right? The next YouTube plaque is at a million, so appropriate thing to do, I reckon. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. You ready? Let's go. Oh, here's crypto. <laughs> here's crypto. You guys haven't seen crypto in years. You want to say hi? Oh, everyone. Oh, everyone. Let's go. Oh, where have you been, KZE? Where have you been? I really do appreciate all those messages. I'm sure I've taken you guys this way, but this area has had some dramatic dramatic restyling you're the sunflower i think your love would be too much oh yeah look at you and all the sunflowers with your little red rocket out wow if you guys look at my old videos maybe i would come over here i'm not really sure but look at this sunflower that's it good boy right there stay He's in a sunflower circle, sunflower circle. How oh, beautiful in that sunflower circle. Is there room for me? This is your sunflower circle, you know that? Look at this thick bar. Oh, this is a thick bar. A few things dogs have taught me. I have been with some of you guys for years. <laughs> Look, it's mocking him. It's mocking you, Crypto. It's freaking mocking you. What are you gonna do to the poor squirrel? All right. Seeing you guys just grow up in the comments for all the time we've spent together for everything. I wanna thank you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Peace. Uh.